Hey guys, I'm Yegi Shatini, and today we're going to look at making dynamic footsteps using Wise and Unreal Engine. My previous video had the system just using Unreal Engine, so I am going to kind of speed through a lot of the UE specific things just because it's literally identical. Uh, so we're going to start off actually talking about the Wise parts of this itself. Uh, just quick demo again walking on concrete, grass, dirt. So inside of WISE, we'll start there now in case you did watch the previous video. If not, you know, feel free to do that. We will cover a lot of the important things again. So inside of WISE, all I need to do for footsteps is make a switch. So I'm going to go to Game Syncs and I'm going to create a new child, switch group. I always like naming it ground material, but I already have one there. So example, we'll, we'll just be doing it here. So under your switch container, I am going to add however many switches you need for however many ground surface types you need. And that's, that's literally it. You just make your switch containing your different surface types. So you'll see here, I have my switch container for ground materials. I only needed concrete, dirt and grass. So I made concrete, dirt and grass. Like always, I would make more than you need, especially with switches. Like it doesn't use any resources really to just exist. Um, so if you're making this ahead of time before having a final project ready, just make a bunch that you think you might need and then delete them later. It'll, it'll save you time in the long run and you'll, you'll have it there and ready to go and you'll seem smarter and work faster anyway. So once you have these three set, that's all it is. The switch is made. You can go into audio, go to your actor mixer and start making what matters. So I made a work unit just for locomotion. And then I made a switch group uh, or a switch container for footsteps. So I'll kind of walk through that again. So I have my footsteps container and then new child. I am going to add random containers for footsteps. Um, so however many footsteps you need, just rename them for whatever, you know, concrete footsteps, dirt footsteps, grass footsteps, sand footsteps, water footsteps, whatever you want. Um, and then you place your audio inside of these. Now I like using a random container. So if you look at the one I have, each of these footstep containers has four different footstep sound effects. You always want variants, especially with footsteps. If your player's walking all the time, it will be noticeable if you don't have them. I found four is pretty good, uh, like a good area you can get enough variants and not have to import too much audio. So if you don't deal with random containers, then of course you could just change the switch group and instead of the children being random containers, just put sound effect. But random containers are nice. Put however many variants you want. And then inside of each random container, I, let's go here, general, uh, I add a little pitch randomization because again, that'll add a, a little bit more variance inside of it. I won't need 10 different sound effects if the pitch is changing enough to give me a different effect on each of them. So not enough to make it, you know, super slowed down and play rate differences there, but just enough to add a little extra spice um, <clears throat> and that's it. So I just have some pitch randomization there. Uh, and they're set to shuffle just, and then I'm, I'm going to avoid repeating two in a row. So if I play one and then two, the next one is going to play three or four. Like, so again, that kind of forces some repetition there. If you have fewer than three, maybe you want limit repetition to one, or if you have more then increase that, but uh, that's how I'm doing it, just shuffling through them, avoiding some repetition. And that's it. They all have the same effect there. And that's it when it comes to importing the sound here. Now, of course, uh, the footstep container is going to then show. So let's go back to the empty one so you can see it from scratch. When you make your switch container, you need to assign it a switch. So here I'm going to assign my ground material switch. Um, cause that's what I want it switching off of. And it's going to populate whatever switches you have. Again, if you realize later you need like 
five more ground materials, the switch will change with it. You'll just have to reassign, okay, for concrete, I want this container. For dirt, I want this container. For grass, I want this one. Right, and then if I went into here and I'm like, oh shoot, I need another switch. Let's say now I need sand. Go back to audio, footsteps, boom, I had sand ready to go. Now let's just add that in. So that's really nice. It saves you a lot of time, especially if you kind of front loaded a lot of these with switches you might need. Now the final step to this is to just create the event, right? So you could just right click this, new event. Um, and then it's going to create a play event here, you, and it's just going to play your footstep. So let's go to the Soundcaster, just so we could see this uh, show all switches, ground material, concrete. Let's say the game sees it as grass. Now the same event's going to play my grass. It sees it. Well, sand's not going to play because that's empty. Uh, dirt. All right, it's going to play that. You put that into your main bank, and then your set generate again i'm not going to go over integrating inside of unreal but that will be sent to your game so now in engine we go to oh no, audio that's for the unreal so we go to our wise audio folder it makes um i didn't organize this as much as i would with a real project because this is all i'm having in it but you have your init bank there and then you have your switches, right? These get populated automatically, and then the play event, right? This is going to get shown in your Wise browser. If you go here, um, your switches get shown, right? It already sees sand as being added. You'll see that. Um, with switches, you don't have to actually generate the sound bank. Switches will get populated automatically. Uh, but then, where are my events? Yeah, right up here, play footsteps. You just drag that into your folder and you could start using it. So, I went over in the other video, but in project surface, you just make sure you line up with whatever surface types you need here. These labels should and need to match identical to what you set the switches as in Wise. Um, keep your naming 100% similar. In most cases, the naming needs to be exact. Uh, not always, but it's always better to just make sure everything's labeled and named the same and be consistent about it. Um, so I already showed the notify, like adding this in, so I'm not gonna re-go over that, uh, but I will look at the footstep event itself same as I did before, I made an actor component in my third person character. And then in this actor component blueprint, I am getting my actor, which is my character, getting its location, subtracting 100 Z axis from it that's shooting straight down into the floor. And then that's my line trace, right? It's starting from my character's location, going down 100 units. And then I'm out hitting the surface type. Before I did the break hit, I didn't need all of those, so this is just my surface type. So what's happening here, what's different with Wise, is my surface type select is going into my set switch. And this is the Wise specific impl oh, set <laughs> switch, not set Wise. Uh, this is specific for Wise, because my post event is playing the footstep, but I need to tell it what switch to switch to. Right, so the switch value is gonna show all the switches I have in Wise and that I've dragged into my Unreal folder. So that's what the select is kind of telling it to play. And the switch value is gonna, again, be depending on what the surface type I stand on. If I'm standing on concrete, set the switch to concrete post footstep sound effect. And since the set switch happens first it's going to make sure it's playing the concrete properly if i run over dirt again set switch gets changed to dirt it's still playing the same event because it's the switch container it's always going to play the proper thing and that's it so this ending bit is really what's different inside of uh wise now <clears throat> 
you can switch on physical surface. I wanted to leave this here, but you'll notice immediately, like I need separate switches to everything. Um, so that's what's nice about importing your switches directly. You just use them in a select. You don't want to do it this way. Uh, this is just faster and auto updates. And if you have more surface types, you just have to repopulate the select node and then plug in the new switches. All right. Um, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, so this one's a bit bit shorter than the Unreal one, I think. I don't know. I didn't look at the time. But uh, same thing when I go to my animation blueprint. Uh, I have my notify event, right, which is what I put on my run. Whatever event you need sound effects happening, I just label this as test. I made my animation notify, right, whatever you labeled your notify, if you just... I can't use test because... There are too many other things. Anim notify test, right? Whatever you use it as, it already exists, so it's not gonna put another one. Uh, makes that, cast it, and then from the cast, you could immediately just go to footstep and it's gonna see the event you made and it'll make your, it'll show the actor component on its own. Um, but yeah, just so you know that that's what it's there for. I don't need this first one, right? That was just for the purpose of the other video I made. It would go directly in and that would be deleted. So every time this notify passes, I fire this footstep event or this footstep event from my actor component. And that's what creates the line trace, detects the floor, switches to the proper floor, and then boom, posts the event. And that's it with making footsteps inside of Wise and Unreal Engine. So if you have any questions or want to see anything else, let me know and I'll see you guys later.